Are you chasing hustle or are you chasing your gifts? And it's such an important topic because most people out there are just kind of chasing this idea of hustling just for the sake of hustling, like being busy for the sake of being busy. But I can promise you there's no, there's no nobility in being busy if you're not getting things done and if you're not getting things uh, accomplished. There are so many things that I am terrible at, yeah. but there's a few things that I'm great at. I just choose to focus all my energy on the things that I'm great at. Yeah. But you're not going to love every single thing you do. Like yeah. you're not going to be in love with every part of the process. Mm -hmm. But there needs to be part of the process that you do love. For sure. And there needs to be things that you do that you do. Like there's this there's this misconception of you hear all these people saying like, you know, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Or if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Or you know, whatever you're truly passionate about, like make that your you know career and sure. all that stuff. Like, yeah, that sounds great. But for ninety percent of the people in America, I mean, it's just not a it's not it's not a reality. That's all smoke and mirrors, man. It sounds good. But for me, it was what performing at a high level in what I don't necessarily love doing affords me the ability to do is the things that I love to do for sure. And one of those things is social media, but it's a lot of other things, traveling time with my family. Yeah. Like it's, it's going all in on the things that you don't necessarily love to be able to do the things that you do love. And there's so many people that they miss that point. They think like, Oh, well I don't like doing this. So I'm not supposed to be doing it. Like some stuff you still got to get done. Like, like, like some stuff you still got to do. Well, it's like that point of it where it's like, you, I'm going to do what others want. Yep. won't mm -hmm. i'm gonna do what others won't so that i can do what others can't yeah. you know what i'm saying and 100%. it's just i mean it's a grind you know it's not i mean it's not all fun I mean, it's not yeah. always sunshine and rainbows you know but but that's those the whole days, enjoying the process that's, that's part of it right those those days where you don't feel like doing it because yeah. i was hurt as a kid man man you don't feel like doing it this is the day you're gonna get better right yeah. here and i i always thought it was just some cliche statement or some comment but then i started to realize that dog those dog days mm -hmm. is where the growth happens oh, at. Yeah. because you now. get to a point where you don't want to do it and you still do it yeah so I'm, just, well, I'm gonna get to another point like this too but i'll never be as low as that one point was you know yeah. what i'm saying i'm just gonna keep yeah. stacking them on top of each other like compound interest i think the majority of people have not figured out what their one true passion is because they're too busy sitting on the sidelines and thinking about which one it might be well whatever it might be isn't really that important you want to figure out which one it actually is and until you try until you go out and, and put some effort in you're never going to know but i talk about this often but i think it bears repeating in this moment is that um i i warn you that chasing passion is not always the the way to go you can become passionate about things. You can lose passion in things. But the thing is, if you're chasing your gifts, you'll always win because your gifts are your gifts are your gifts. Like what are those things that you were born with? What are those God-given skills and abilities that you have? I mean, if you're trying to chase passion, I don't know if you'll ever find it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a very difficult um, dynamic there, but chasing after your gifts, like if you can figure out what you're actually gifted at and just try to make that the full focus of every single day is creating an infrastructure around what you're supposed to be doing, then that's how you ultimately, that's how you, that's how you win. You need to be chasing your gifts. Because you, you can become passionate about things and you can lose passion in things. And if that's what you're chasing, I'm not exactly sure you're gonna end up with what you want. But if you start chasing your gifts, like chasing the things that you were born to do, the things that you do better than anybody else, if you start chasing those things, then you will ultimately become passionate about that uh, which you are gifted in. You were given a finite period of time here for a purpose. And that purpose will require you to use your gifts to reach your full potential. And guess what happens when you're chasing your gifts, living life on purpose, and reaching your full potential. Guess what starts to emerge and begins to grow like a wildfire? Passion. And so for me, you know, I'm in the insurance business. I have zero passion for insurance, mm -hmm. but my gifts are to lead, train, and coach people and to give them a vehicle that they can apply their hard work ethic into to go do whatever in the world that they want to do. And insurance just happens to be the vehicle with which we provide them. Security happens to be the vehicle that you provide your, your people to be able to do what they're doing. But I think 
you can get so bogged down just as you said in the how that you know this dynamic of learning to then go do versus doing to learn mm -hmm. <laughs> like just go do and then god will reward that action by putting that next step in place or by making that next step appear at least a little bit more clear just by putting forth the action only if it's based off those gifts though yeah. i feel like that's kind of the that has to be the alignment of operating out of those gifts I love that so much because it, it truly speaks to my first 10 years. Again, I think the first 10 years I did it because, yep, I, I love the money, but I wasn't sold on this being my career. Hmm. And it wasn't until I said, hey, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And my why became, my passion became, I, I honestly wanted to do it because those there was six office employees that I wanted to make sure that I could take care of because they took care of me for those first 10 years. If it wasn't for them, I would have never gotten to the position I was in, mm -hmm. but the only way I was gonna elevate them mm -hmm. by elevating the company. Yep. And it be that's when it became this passion of, I wanted to create an environment where uh, people were unleashed to fulfill their God-given potential. You cannot just sit down one day and get a blank piece of paper and say, okay, what is my dream career? What is my what is my passion that I want to go all in on? These things will happen over time and it comes from putting in massive action, massive effort over a period of time for those for those passions to evolve, for you to for you to create more self-awareness, for you to have a better idea of who you are and what your strengths are. How can you figure out what your strengths are if you don't try things? Dance as an industry is a competitive event. Like you're auditioning against somebody else. So if you're putting in more work and you're thinking outside the box, you're dressing a certain way, you're, you're really marketing yourself in an intelligent way, you can pass people that have way more experience and way more technical skill hmm. by using your mind, you know? And that's really what YouTube was too. I don't have the biggest dance channel online because I'm the best dancer or the best choreographer. I have it because luckily when I was growing up, I studied business more than I studied dance. And now I can use that in what I'm doing. And I think it applies to anything. Like I said, if you're a singer, you're a yep. comedian, a writer, you can take exactly what I did and just tweak it a little bit for your genre and it'll work every time. I love that, man, because at the, at the very center of what you're saying is that, you know, at the end of the day, hard work, and the willingness to put in the work, the willingness to do what it takes, ultimately is what wins. And so then you had to look at these areas where you said, okay, I, I could go all in here, I could go all in there, I could go, go all in there, might as well go all in on the one that I actually enjoy doing. Your integrity says, go all in where you are and show the people around you that you're willing, let's the sweep streets, like like that's, yeah, yeah. like you're willing to, to be the best, the very best at whatever you're doing yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where so many people are that are watching this. They're in a situation and they feel like, man, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. And so it creates this friction inside them, yeah. this, this almost like this storm inside them. It's like, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I, I'm, I'm supposed to be trying my best. Like, I'm, this is not what I'm supposed to do, but I'm supposed to put in the most effort imaginable into it. That creates friction there. But to understand that what you're supposed to be doing will never come until yeah. you go all in where you're at hmm. is very requisite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it is a prerequisite. And it may be as it may be one of those tests in, okay, I, I'll give you this. If you show me, you can handle this well, like to kind of the, you know, add to whom much is given, much is required. Right. Like I, I'll give you little and, and make sure you can handle that. Then we'll yeah. give you more and make sure you can handle that. And then we'll give you more. So many people, uh, you hear this line, man, if I could just find a job that I was passionate, that I'm passionate about. I said this myself for so long. If I could only find you know, a job, if I only, could only find a career, if I could only find an industry, if I could only find a product that I was passionate about, man, I would sell, I would, I would be the greatest salesman ever. If I could only have a product that I was passionate about. See, I was looking for the wrong thing. I was looking for something that I was passionate about and not looking for an opportunity where I could operate out of my gifts.